Rhode Island, the home of the Providence College Friars. The Hartford Hawks representing the America East and Providence College of the Big East, ranked 23rd in the country. They're going to mix it up defensively, try to keep Providence off balance. Then Bento for a three to get it started. Freshman, a face-up guy that can really shoot the ball off the catch and the bounce. Inside, La Bamba. This little done with the basketball on top. Fasikas, and that's good for three. Well done on top to Bento, who already had a three-pointer. He has a two-pointer. Just a minute and a half, he sits on the bench. Run back in there with the basketball, up and in. Very quickly, making his presence fell with his first basket of the game. Goes to the corner. Wagnerjevic, too strong that time, and the rebound taken by Jalen Lindsey. Quickly the other way, it is Bento. Providence's transition game. Bento beats everyone down the court. If you don't stop him, it's that. Deep outside, too strong that time. Bullock working down low, misses. Rebound for Dunn, off the glass and in. This is an ISO play for Dunn. They like to play him off the ball. They will see an ISO set. This is for Dunn coming off a down screen, and so you'll watch him. As he comes off a down screen, he's isolated at that elbow, one-on-one. For the Friars, Chris Dunn on top right now. Dunn to Bento. A little turnaround bid there for Bento. Jalen Lindsay now trying to answer with a three, and he'll get it to go. The basket that time is Dyson. Tried the layup. Lindsay. That's a three-pointer. Rebound that time for Lindsay, and back come the Friars. Quickly on top here by seven, and Lindsay puts up another three. Oh, Jalen Lindsay all of a sudden, a couple of three-pointers. He's a guy that spaces the floor, has great range, and also has the size to get to the rim. But right now, the Harper team is not low. Flipping on the floor that time, LaMamba. Inside the Dunn. Making the extra pass, and... You know. Graham trying to penetrate around Dunn, but Dunn rejects him. You see the length right here and the timing without the foul. And they rebound and control tempo. Ooh, on the follow. I mean, that's just, you can't teach that. You know, the athleticism is above elite, and you get a chance to see what he does on the court. He's always looking up, but the thing you have to worry about is he can crash the glass as well. Nobody puts a body on him, and he just goes over the top and tomahawks that with the one-hand finish. No point guards in the country can do that. That's pro stuff right there. Deservedly uh, a top three team. I think they're the number one team in the country right now. Tom Mizzle does a great... Certainly, you have to look at their early season success as a league in the Big East. 2013, 14 wins last year. They're under 500, 14 and 16 overall. And look out. Here's Big Ben Bentel coming in. Fourth straight game with 20 or more points for Ben Bentel. This is a great two man game, and Bentel knew that the roll was going to be open. He rolled straight to the rim. In the lane, keeping his dribble. Here comes Chris Dunn into your living room. Here we see the block by Ben Till, and they're off to the races. And Chris Dunn with the tomahawk dunk, sending it home. And man, a long-range shot here. And no surprise there, Villanova certainly playing at a high level. And Dunn tries to find an angle and gets it to go. Harry Payton, guys like that, that were good defenders with size. Dunn gets the rebound, his 10th board, his second career triple double. And the crowd, a knowledgeable crowd here at the Dunkin' Donuts Center, knows that he got his triple double. Well, he will check out here now. Look at his night 16 points, 10 boards, and 14 assists. Just did pick up that 10th rebound of the game. And it's just another day at the office for Dunn, who continues to prove that he is the best guard in the country, a two-way player. A dominant performance by Chris Dunn, and a triple-double says it all. It was a workman's-like triple-double. Didn't force anything, got his teammates involved with the 14 assists, and finished around the rim, high, highly efficient. And he just was active on every part of the game in terms of being a defender, the blocks, the steals.
He's the most complete guard in the country because he fills everything in the stat box. And his size and his ability to lead is really what separates him at the top.